So I, I should say that I'm redoing this whole thing because I forgot to hit record on the video recorder before, so it didn't record any of the switching I did. Anyways, here we are with the Blackmagic Atom, A-T-E-M, Atom Switcher. And this has everything coming into it. So we have the three cameras from the studio coming in, plus we have the one camera that's in the control room coming in over here. So that's a pretty wide camera, so it could capture a bunch of people. So if you have people producing the show and whatnot, it's gonna capture that. You also have on the screen, you see a preview program. So if you hit, you know, ready one or ready two, there it is. So it's in your preview, take two, hit the cut button, it's gonna go over program. And you also see the audio levels right now. I'm talking into the microphone that's being picked up by the recorder. So the audio, the main output of the audio from the Behringer comes into the Black Magic. So we're getting the true audio output of that into here. And you can see the audio level. So I know visually that I'm good. I, I know visually I'm recording. I can see them on my recorder as well. Uh, so I, I have a lot of input to tell me I have good audio. So, you know, this is a pretty simple board, Not nothing complicated in here. You, you're just, you know, readying a take, taking it, readying a camera, take the camera. You also have transitions, so you can do the auto transition. You can use a slider. You can change, change uh, your transition types. There's a whole graphical interface up here that shows you what that's gonna look like if you use one. Mixes the basic one right here, so it's just to dissolve. You can also use use a uh, DSK. So we can do DSKs in here. We can put graphics on here. I'm gonna show you some of that near the end of the video. For right now though, just concentrate on the very simple switching. Also over here, you have the camera control. So the three PTZ cameras in the studio are all Sony's, pan, tilt, zoom. That's what PTZ stands for if you don't know. Um, to control them, come over here. First of all, figure out which camera you wanna control. So if you wanna change camera one, I'm gonna press one on the controller first and now my joystick is going to let me pan left, right, tilt up, down, and I can also zoom out, zoom in. I can also take autofocus off and manually focus it if I need to. Same thing with exposure. I can take off auto exposure and change that. So if it's too bright or too dark, I have that ability as well. So any camera I want to set first, I'm just select that number first and then I can move it around. So for a uh, you know, two person interview, I can set a two shot with my camera uh, with camera two and then do cross cutting with cameras one and three so I can switch between those for a conversation. Now to record all this, on the right side over here, I have four recorders stacked up. They're SD card recorders, similar to the one, exactly like the one that's down in control room A. Uh, so you bring your SD cards in, format it in the menu structure there. And then the top one is program. And then I have cameras one, two, and three. And that will allow you to record ISOs if you want to. You don't need to. What's important is to record program one. Remember, ISOs are not gonna have any audio. So you always have to have program or else you'll have no audio whatsoever. The ISOs are just gonna be the straight camera feed from the cameras in the room. And that's gonna let you be able to mix in post-production. Now this black magic switcher over here, also is connected to the computer that we were on for audition. So if I open up this AT, ATEM Atom, I always never know how to pronounce it, uh, control panel, it's going to show me the control panel for the switcher. And I can actually do switching right from here if I really want to. I could, you know, do the cuts and do the transitions and all that right from the control panel. That's not really what it's great for, but I could do that. You can also see my recorders, my SD recorder, Card recorders are also called Hyperdex are right here. And you can see I'm recording on the first one. There's a control and I have them all up here. Oh, actually, sorry, recording on the fourth one. I could stop it from here. If I had other SD cards plugged in there, I could record right here. I could play off of them and all that stuff as well. Now, where the powerful part comes in is if you did want to bring in a lower third or some sort of graphic uh, because you want to do everything live, you can come down here to media and you can literally drag uh, images right from the desktop, right from a hard drive into any one of these spots and assign them to your still source, assign them to uh, be the DSK right from here. So you can do all that in here. I also have an audio mixer in here. Now you're not using all these channels in here. You really would only be looking at the XLR at the end because that's the input from the board. So for whatever reason, your board level is good, but you're getting too low or too hot over here. 
you could come over here and adjust the slider for the recording from right here. So all that is possible in here. And we're not going to use the, the camera control, it doesn't matter because we're not using their cameras. But this is sort of the back end, how you could do some more stuff with it. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into how to use this stuff. If you really want to get into it, there's a lot of tutorials on Blackmagic on YouTube already. I highly recommend going and viewing some of those. The last thing I want to talk about though is if you want to live stream from here to the world. So from here, I open up QuickTime and I create a new movie recording under the file menu. And next to the record button, there's a little drop down for UTAP uh, for, the, for the camera settings. And you select UTAP for both the camera and the microphone. And I can do a movie recording right to the, right to the computer. Now I could also use that same feature if I want to stream YouTube Live, Facebook, Twitch, whatever it is. So if you want to go live somewhere, you can use the UTAP to connect the output from the board to whatever service you're using and stream out live. So that is completely possible. You know, you log into the computer with your own a username and password, log into whatever service you want to use, and just select the UTAP uh, device as your camera and your audio device, and it's going to take whatever's coming out of your video mixer and stream it out to whatever service you want to use. So that is also very possible all within this studio. So that's, that's the basics. There's a lot of stuff here between the two rooms. I hope the videos helped you out and I'm looking forward to all the content everyone's going to be creating in here. If you have any questions about it or if I need to clarify something more or you want to learn something more about a certain device because you just want to figure out more features of it, let me know. We'll sit down. We'll talk about it. And maybe I'll have to make another video in the future. But until then, enjoy and have fun. Start creating.